Hello, it's sorry, just checking. Uh, Sunday, the seventeenth. It's just gone ten past one in the afternoon. What did we do this morning? We went food shopping. Spent a fortune. Bought Tobin some slippers though. We were going to buy Jack some slippers, but he was like meh. So we thought, eh, not spending money on you. I want these ones of like a show that he doesn't even watch. I was like, but you don't watch it, you don't like it. Yeah, but I want them. I'm like, there's some that look like Sully, and they're amazing. But these ones are fluffy inside. I'm like, these are fluffy inside. I don't want them. I was like, oh, go with that. But I, <laughs> I need to replace it. Ratty piece of tape on my hand. I um, lift it up. I cleaned the fireplace last night. Um, so it's lovely. It's all... I think it's fairly original. That uh, open fire doesn't work. Um, it's a problem with the flue or something. So we're told not to use it. We've got an open fire in the front room, but we don't tend to use it. We thought about using it when the heating was playing up, and um, when we had the old boiler that cost a fortune. If you you know even wanted water, you know to heat up it cost you a lot of money. Um, but I'm not a fan of open fires with the kids. If you can hear that, it's my iron warming up. Because that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Woo! Fun. Yeah, hand. <laughs> How did I get here? Who are you people? Um, yeah, I was cleaning the fireplace. And across that sort of top bit, I was dusting it. And I managed to get splinters all across my hands. So I've just got some tape on to try and draw out the last. I got two of the splinters out. And after that point, I've been poking at my hand that much and it's my left it's that this is my hand <laughs> my left I'm left handed so trying to gouge it out with the pipe was not good and I couldn't get hold of it with tweezers or anything so yeah so it's very sore just leaving it to heal a little bit before I poke it again because it was just getting too painful so yeah went and spent a fortune at Star got home had some dinner uh, after we'd unpacked all the shopping um and I bought uh, lasagna sauce and some chicken like sauce stuff but I'm not a huge fan of Asda's chicken breasts and mints so I nipped to Aldi those of you who know know that Aldi is selling wool at the minute if you don't know Aldi is selling wool at the minute now I'm a fair I, I, you know I go to the local wool shop I buy online I do generally go for the bargains I'm not against buying from you know, at a yarn shop, I'm not, you know, I'm trying to support where I can, but I needed white yarn, because I have, like, one ball, I had to go out and buy one ball last year, so this was, like, of four, just acrylic, good for amigurumis, and as I'm working on Christmassy stuff, I get it, now, I did look at, uh, like, a dark green they had, um, Oh, it's just three pounds sixty nine for the full colour. Um, yeah, I did look at dark green. Thought well, that might might be a nice hat. I have got some dark green. But it's more of a teal. I thought if I was doing Christmassy hats, I might need more of a like a forest green. But this yarn's slightly on the thinner side of DK. So I got this one. This is called Sand, I think. Yeah, Sand. So again, four for. Four balls, uh, 100 gram balls, or 100% uh, acrylic, £3.69. Uh, I thought that'd make nice teddy bears. But yeah, it's a little bit on the thin side. It's thinner than New Fashion DK, so not exactly ideal for hats. Mm. So I thought I'd show you this while my iron warms up and while Paul is outside washing his car. He knows I've ordered wool for, for, from Lolly's little wool shack. It is, little wool shack. Um, and the Hermes tracking for that says it's going to be delivered today. Sorry, I'm really here. That wasn't a Trump promise. I'd be falling off my chair if it was. Um, yeah, so it says it's going to be delivered today. I don't believe them. It'd be cool if it does. If it does, I'll be back and definitely go. They're shouting at each other. I'm just checking. It's not fighting. Um, so yes, that's my little purchase along with mints and chicken and Aldi was so busy there was like, a, a woman on the um going up to the till next to me and she got like 
about 10 balls of wool like because they do big like 400 gram balls of aran um which i've used to make my cocoon yeah my movie night cocoon my sister's movie night cocoon i made a scarf for my sister's boyfriend i said i'd make her one but i don't know if i've got time to do it before her birthday might do Sun's out today. I mean, it's looking quite grey and thundery, but it was really warm when I went out. Went out with my Gryffindor hoodie on. I was baking. I'm in just t shirt and hoodie and trainers today. I can't be bothered. But I did paint my nails last night. They seem to have all been breaking at a minute, so I cut them all down and painted them. So just use normal black and then put back a matte top coat on. And this is. This is a satin matte or something. But then I put a, a layer of the matte top coat over it. And I said, Paul, look up into my nails. He went, are you going goth again? It's like, okay, again. And no. I was like, oh, my nails are always black or like dark red or, you know. I've got a really nice, like, it's a very dark burgundy. It looks like brown in the, in the thing. But I go through phases. phase sometimes I feel like painting my nails, sometimes I don't. I like painting them when they're short. Because then if they're already as short as they can go, I'm not going to break them as much. But yeah, I don't tend to do it often. And then if I do, I tend to chip it and then I just take it all off within a day or so. so. Slightly pointless, but I was having a rest from doing crochet last night because my hand hurts. Uh, but yeah, so I'll stop waffling now. I'll come back in a bit and... Hopefully say, oh, the ironing's all done. I've got jumpers and shirts and trousers everywhere. <sighs> I hate it. But I'm going to go and put this in the you know, cupboard and pretend it's been there all along. Can't put it in the garage because he's got the garage open because he's washing his car. But I hide it before he comes in. So yeah, I like this sandy colour. I bought like a mushroomy colour last time. Um, and I thought, it's not the same colour, is it? But it's not, that's more, I use that for the bases of the donuts and ice creams and stuff, but I think that'd be quite nice. And I'll a cute teddy bear. I need some mini teddy bears. And maybe I'll put um, a cute little heart on them or something. Yeah, that sounds nice, doesn't it? So, um, I hope everybody's alright and I shall be back in just a second, I think. See you in a bit. What are you doing? Are you videoing me? Yes, what are you doing? Trying to do the video. This is what I've got so far. I wonder what. Sure, it's properly. This is what I've got so far. It's not exactly done. But you wonder what that yellow blob in the middle is. But what is it? It's like it's going to be easy. What I'm trying to do is make um, a another one to go inside of it. But on the inside of that one, I'm like this one is going to be a hole in the middle. And I'm going to yeah. hold to be filled in with yellow. So. Alright, oh, okay. And uh, Jack is down on the floor. Don't Say hi. Who knows what? Say hi. Hi, I'm making a present. I I think you're wondering why I've not got any strips of of wrapping paper or ribbons to go around it. It's just bands. Just bands. Because I don't really know where there's thin ribbon. Well, we're going to to wrap them. Ah. So, I've done the ironing and I've tied it up. Not that you can tell because the kids... Well, this bit looks okay. Paul's got to take his shirts. Empty washing baskets. Yay! For the first time ever. I've tried to tidy... This is the my nightmare that lives under the dining table. So there's Play-Doh toys, boxes of the Play-Doh things they've got, just pens everywhere. This box up here. Yeah, oh, look, I've so cleaned up and all they've done to my table. They've nicked my Chromebook so they can watch videos. Yeah. They've just cut up a load of paper. There's a huge box of pens, but they can never find a pen. No. Never. So, yeah, I'm trying to tidy, and it's a tidy season up for ages, and then these pair come and get stuff all over the floor. Me. I've got my new stuff away. Wall cupboard. Then my wall cupboard is adorned with Nerf guns and leftover sugar flowers that the mother-in-law made for um, yes, and our wedding cake. They have and then there's broken. my... Paul's got an Oklahoma City Thundercats. Um, 
But it's one of those weird, it's one of the big like trucker hat things and he looks like a wally with it on so he doesn't wear it. Pops it up there. The two fish, there's a big fish on the top shelf and then a yellow like Spongebob fish. They were made by Paul's mum. Oh, and the Olaf was made by Paul's mum in a pottery thing. And then I got stacks of like five in um, Jack Brook one of the fins off and I was crying my eyes off when I was... That was when I was five. Just let you know. Oh, yeah. Just inform you. Yeah, he doesn't cry his eyes out now. No, that's Shh, what were you saying? You want to inform as well? I want to inform you that's when I'm five. I am number nine now. I don't cry that much. How many days to be ninth birthday? It's the 17th today. Two weeks? Maybe. How many days? I don't know. On the 17th now, and your birthday is 30th. Don't count all the way there with your fingers. Twelve? Twelve days? Is it? Yeah, 17, 18, 19. No, 13 days. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Complete guess. So what have you done today? Um. How well can you remember what you've done? Played computer games, went shop, came back and literally did this. That's like all I did this morning. You had dinner. You computer missed... games, eating dinner. Watch Mr. Bean's holiday. Yeah. Which she refused to come away from to do crafting. I didn't want to do crafting to start with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at the mess you made now. That's really good. I should show the monkey we made out of the Kit Carol centers. Oh, yeah. that is mine. Let's go. Oh, finger pop. What was the other one we tried to make? Carol. Hippo. It's really good. Hippo. Hang it's on. hot. The glue's I love hard. it, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very hard to glue's make. Well, they're not, not too like hard, good. are they? It's not that good. Yeah, we had a bit of a problem with the glue, but we sorted it, didn't we? Yeah, we just sewed it all on. No, we didn't sew the thing on. That's all glue. No, sewed. Sewed. Oh, the sewed. arms, yeah. Sorry, I forgot yeah. about the arms. Yeah, I thought you meant the face bit. No, 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 no. That, that, that was used fabric bit. glue, though. We used fabric glue for that. So, my chicken is cooking. Um, a bit too close, back a little bit. There you go, that's right. I'm trying to get this face right over the camera. Holding the monkey. Um, holding yeah, so the chicken's it. cooking, iron's all done. Think Paul I'll has push. washed his car and mowed oh, the front and back now. lawns. It's probably going to be the last time we get to mow. Uh, before it gets too wet. Jack, you need to drink this drink, baby. See if I can turn the camera around on me for a sec. Toby needs his face in me. Uh, Am I in it? <coughs> Toby head's cool. There you go. Just uh, so let's go down. Don't no, move. You can go up a little bit. Let's uh -huh. sit up. Yeah. <laughs> Being directed by Toby. Um, so yeah, what else have we got to do today? You pair need a bath, which you actually dad to do. Um, he's watching James Bond at the minute. Which one's he watching? I looked as well, and I can't think. Don't know. Sean Connery one. He looks old, isn't it? What? There's nothing for you to see behind here. Oh God, you're going to be photo bombed, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it really. I can see my desk. It's quite amazing. I never see the desk. Let me show you. Stop it, Toby. What do you mean you can't see? Look, I can actually see stuff on the desk. I have a huge pile of paperwork to file, but that is Jack's going to put a wedding ring box on it. Jack, I've tidied that up. Full of dummies. There's my sun hat that I won. And I've got, I have to do a big paperwork sort out when I've been to, uh, I've got to re-register the kids to have my surname changed. Oh, God, he's back with the monkey. Yeah, because you re-register the kids. Um, am I on it? Okay. Yeah. When you get married, if you, if you had them before you were married, yeah. you have them re-registered. Um, with my name as my married name, not my, uh, my maiden name. He's so. not that old. Well, he is broken. Oh, you fool. Start yeah, tidying up, please. He's gone. Dude. Can you see that? This is gone. So, yeah. Get out of it. I see Mum's face in the background. Um, I've blurred Mum's face. So, yeah, I've got some paperwork out. I need to pull some more out. Like, I have to take... Stop it. I have to get their original birth certificates and... Our marriage certificate and take that along and then we'll get new certificates issued. Hello. Right, I've got rid of the boys and their crafting. Just noticed some sellotape stuck on the table. Joy, 
So I've cleaned the table up, cleaned the mats, got rid of Paul's washing. The desk is all, well, as tidy as it gets. It's pretty amazing. So my walls away, my new purchases. I didn't notice when I showed you before, my little heart's fallen down. I'll see if I can get it to show up properly. It's one of the wedding presents we got. New Mr. and Mrs. Established 2017. My massive crochet books and stuff that I get in a bit. I need to clear out, really. There's my crochet books I've got. And uh, crochet shawls and wraps. And there's that old one I bought from the machine knitting show. I think that's my stitching bitch book. There's my stitching bitch. The happy hooker one. And I think that's Granny Squares. Let's have a look. Oops, I'm not even filming what I'm working. Yeah, 500 crochet blocks. And then my labyrinth book that Paul bought me for Christmas, I believe. And here, I've got um, my Tobin spirit guide, a Ghostbusters thing. We would pretend we were cool enough to call him that because we knew, but we didn't, so... Happy coincidence. There's my sewing machine that Paul's dad uh, got for me, or gave to me. Uh, not used it often. That's all. It's uh, raining outside, so Paul just got the... Um, oh, well, there's no right mess. <laughs> He's just got the lawn done in time. I don't know what that splodgy bit... Where's my finger? That What's happened there? Um, that's... Did I show you the, what we did in the garden? We put in... Um, all down here was just soil and all at the back was all just overgrown weeds. So we um, bought a load of bark chipping. That table was here when we moved in. That's our bench, but it is, it's dying back. So you can't lean back on it because it will, it's going to collapse anytime soon. Um, we've got some herbs growing at the bottom of the garden. They weren't, we didn't plant them though. I think they I'm sure that's our planter though, but she said, oh yeah, they've got thyme in the back garden. The next one over told us there was thyme growing in the garden. These are some plants that um, Paul's friend bought for us that apparently you can't kill. So we'll see. My tomato plants are over, <laughs> very close at hand, over that way. But I'm not going outside because it looks gross. That's our big stump. Don't know what, what kind of tree it used to be. Over there near the slide, uh, this dude... Is a damson tree uh, which didn't produce any fruit this year it did last year and it dropped all over the garden and kept treading on it and making a mess there's a lot of ivy all down the wall I've tried to get it off the tree trunk a bit there are conifers right at the back we hadn't chopped down not long after we moved in let me just move across to this window uh, they were probably about another six foot higher and really blocked off the garden um, and like the guys who came to chop them down said that they probably wouldn't go green again. But they did. Focus. There we go. I think it's fighting with the window. So yes, this is my as clean or about as clean as it gets. Dining room. Don't look at that. That's the the craft area where the kids make memories and mess. So that's the fireplace I cleaned yesterday and show the tiles. They're quite pretty. Obviously you wouldn't pick them necessarily if you're doing it now. Some horrible sticky pads that were stuck on here that I can't really be that bothered to get off. And tiles at the bottom. We get a lot of droppings from the chimney and stuff so I have to keep cleaning it. A teapot my friend bought me. But as it's only me that has tea and I don't like it that strong. I don't get to use the pot as much as I used to. Not as much as I would like. There's a kids dominoes and stuff under there, my wall winder, the dreaded meh of paperwork, and yeah, a nice clean table for once, so we'll have a nice Sunday chicken dinner at the table, so I'm going to try and edit out some of the last bit, because Tobin decided to throw things at me, and generally got a little bit of a pain in the bum, so I'll try and get rid of that for you, with our lovely wedding photos, did I show you this before, I can't remember, and lovely, Oh, a lovely family. And they just got a reflection of the back door in there. Yeah, Paul and his dad, Mr. Jack, me and Paul. I think that's the whole family in that one. Oh no, Paul's sister's not in that one because she's taking the pictures. 
That is my very lovely, very beautiful friend Laura, who walked me down the aisle, as such, there wasn't much of an aisle, and apparently I ran. <laughs> you were like, you went a bit fast, I, like, I, didn't, I thought it would be longer than that. Now Tobin's Crocs, he was out in the garden, and yeah, so, I will get something to focus on rather than just pointing you at a magnolia wall while I ramble. Um, so yeah, that probably will be it for the rest of, for, for today's video. Um, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.